Hey, what's happening gamers? Welcome to uh, our look at Toriyama's Sandland. This game is coming out later this month and you guys really wanted to see one of us cover it. So this is Sandland, which takes place in the Dragon Ball universe or Dragon Ball Z universe or whatever. All right, I'm kind of here. No, what is it? I didn't say anything. You said one of us, so here I am. Okay, so anyway guys, your first like goes 100 likes. Let's see what this game is all about. You guys have said nothing about this, or you've talked about this game for quite a bit uh, since uh, they had the demo come out, so let's see what we're dealing with here. Oh joy, I always love reading these on the air. Uh, okay. Okay. How many of these do you have to sign? Okay. Buy now! New game. No, we have to send... Oh, never mind. All right. So this is connected to Dragon Ball somehow. Part of the Dragon Ball universe or shared universe or whatever. And it comes out at the end of April. If you're going to do that, you can't stop. Connect the game. Balance and demo differ from that of the full version. Well, obviously. Um, my little plug is over here. In the demo, you can explore and fight enemies in the following three vehicles. You can recover your vehicle's HP by resting at a camp. Basic character controls. Okay. So, they're not even going to have any story. You just kind of run around. Basically like a free roaming stream. So I can jump into different tanks and attack. But they're not even going to show you like the first uh, hour or anything of the game. Okay. Okay. Uh, the tanks look like something out of Metal Slug, personally. Uh, and it looks like this entire universe, or like, the story all takes place in the desert. Well, I mean, the name of the anime is called Sandland. You can also watch this anime on Hulu, if you're interested. I have not seen it. Maybe I'll watch the first episode, but I'm, I'm not really big on post-apocalyptic shows, animes. So... Uh, and, uh, this little demon character here is the main lead of the show. And then this old guy is, uh, part of the show, I know that. And then this other old guy. Looks like a dwarf or some type of demi-human, maybe. Something like that. So, I don't know where they put you in the game. Uh, for... Obviously, some parts of the story have happened to be able to put you out here so you can get in a tank and do some stuff. So you can punch with the square button. You'll probably find traveling merchants on the main roads. They roam over Sandland, peddling their wares to all comers. Fellow travelers, huh? If we find any, let's stop and compare notes with them. And it's in English. There you go. Intro. Ah, uh, Sandland. I hate sand. The anime is great, and why Toriyama fans say it's the best. Best story and character work? Uh, I haven't seen it, so I, uh, the only thing from Toriyama that I've seen is so, Dragon Ball and Dragon Quest day. related stuff. And he only did the art for Dragon Brace Quest. For true evil. We do stuff like dig pitfalls where people like to walk. Oh, and Thief even stole someone's comic the other day. Some of my finest work, if I do say so myself. See? Pure evil, right? I can randomly go up and punch dinosaurs. That's fun. So, how do demons usually spend their day? <laughs> Brace for true evil. We do stuff like dig pitfalls where people like to walk. Oh, we got a big dinosaur here. We had a big dinosaur here. All right, so they have me pretty OP right now. My finest work, if I do say so. Not that I mind. Kind of like to find a tank to jump in, though. Yeah, right. Okay, so how far are you gonna let me explore before you cut me off? Whoa! 
Anakin would hate this game. It's just all about sand. I don't know, if you guys are interested in us uh, covering this game, let us know. It comes out later this month. Tell me something. How do humans make a living? Perhaps agriculture, hunting, trade. It's pretty varied. And some bad eggs resort to thievery, of course. We steal from humans sometimes, too. That's nothing to be proud of. Unless you're stealing from the army, that is. Whoa! We got some tanks! Ow. Attack some bandits. I don't know how I'm supposed to deal with a tank if... Unless I'm, I have my tank. They're shooting fire in a desert. Whoa! I don't think I'm going to survive this. Oh, okay, so strong punch. Circle. Uh-oh. I'm going to die! I died. Game over! Well, that happened. That was very fast. Alright, so I'm guessing we need a tank in order to fight those guys. Well, water is very important to drink when you're in the desert, so... Can you change the time of day so it's, like, cooler out? Oh, you can! Good! Death one, says Jacob. There we go, we're gonna go out at night now. Nighttime. Of course, nighttime means it's gonna be cooler out. But who knows, maybe things will end up working better. Hello, big dinosaur. The dinosaur is a level that looked like 15. I don't know what level my character currently is. Take that, fool. That's what you get. If you ever think you might be lost, you should check the map. I'm not lost. I'm exploring. At least that was sort of fun. Yes. If you ever think you might be lost, you should check the map. I'm not lost. I'm exploring the desert. Isn't that the whole point of this game? The desert? Or would it be getting in some type of tank? More... Oh, that's, uh... Those look nasty. It's a scorpion of some kind. Apparently I've alerted all the scorpions to my presence. And giant birds. Oh, those aren't birds. Pterodactyls. Are those pterodactyls? Yeah, those are pterodactyls. Scorpions and pterodactyls. Oh my. Apparently I can't fly. I can do a double jump though. Whoa. Die bombing pterodactyl. Hmm. I like being smacked around. Okay. Come here, so ow. All right, that was a cheap shot, and you know it. Come on, come on. All right. That Dude's pretty high. Got a good kick in. The game control's okay. Alright, uh, what we're gonna do different is we're gonna check out the city that I ignored last time. Oh! I thought I saw a big blue monster. I did not. Gonna go inside the city. You're a weird one, old man. You ruin all this to find water for other people. I'm not that noble. Only death awaits us if we don't help each other. Ah, huh. I guess. Demons and humans working together. I can't go inside the city. 
Okay, let's try changing the time of day to see if I can go inside the city. Nighttime, though. Let's see if it's still locked off during this part of the game or not. You can't go inside anyway. Well, that's something. Never mind. So it didn't matter if I went during the day or at night. I can't go inside the city. So how am I supposed to find this tank Always for me to mess calm, around with? No matter the situation. Well, so I'm supposed to steal someone else's tank. <laughs> So far, the only things I can do is beat up dinosaurs or get killed by, uh, bandits. I can't actually go inside the town. It won't let me. Ow. I can combo moves, though. That's cool. So I can chain together circle and triangle moves. Always remain calm, no matter the situation. Clear thinking will lead you to victory, even when the odds are against you. You're talking to the Fiend Prince. I'm like, the definition of calm. Um, yes, YouTube Premium helps out the channel. You don't, like, uh, you don't get ads and we get commission. Not many people have YouTube Premium, though. But, yeah, the people that do have YouTube Premium and you watch our channel a lot, it helps out tremendously. Totally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. If a foe's too tough, you can always run away and live to fight another day. Never give up, never There's surrender. No such thing is too tough for me. I just need to learn how to Perhaps chain not. combos I'm together you better. Just in case that turns out not to be true. All right, see these dudes and their tanks are not fair cuz I don't have a tank. He's dead. Aha, what am I doing? It's called chaining moves together. Ooh! No, oh, come on! That's not fair, he's got a tank. And I just have a demon body. Okay, how, how am I supposed to... If a foe's too tough... You can always run away and live to fight another day. Aha, you can't hit me. I'm up close and personal. What are you going to do? The best way to fight a tank is... Ow. Never mind. Oh! I'm still alive! If a foe's too tough, you can always run away and live to fight another day. <laughs> No such thing is too tough for me. I'm Perhaps chasing not. the tank for whatever just reason. In case that turns out not to be true. Right, right, fine. Yeah, but I'm not yes. finding this tank thing that supposedly I can uh, drive tanks around. I'm running into tanks that I can fight. Well. I beat up a tank. I, I didn't get to ride the tank, though. And the tank faded away, so it's not like I can seize enemy there's tanks. I've got a question. Why can humans eat some plants? That happened. Well, I'm going back to base camp. Our bodies can't digest a lot of them. And then there's others that are downright poisonous to us. I love you. <laughs> humans just have weak yeah, stomachs. Love you too. So you demon stomachs are so strong you can eat just about anything? Impressive. Why would of course they have not, that silly. There, if you can't go in there, though. I see. So that's an important city, but I can't go inside of it. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, but it's. See, that's for the main game. They won't let you. You can go to a camp though, and rest and change the time of day, but I'm going to keep exploring. 
And then the game looks great. Like, it plays fine. It's just a lot of features aren't available right now. Hey, thief. Did the demon village always used to be where it is now? As far as I know, there is no record of us moving. Okay, rest till nighttime. Demon destroys tank with bare hand. I mean, Dragon Ball characters are supposed to be able to do those type of feats, so I mean, it's not, you know, an impossible thing to consider. No sleeping for you, Dino. Goodbye. Wrecked. Wonder how far into the story this section is? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. It looks like we're not the only travelers out here. Whoops. The pterodactyls are really hard to hit. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of pterodactyls. Problem is it's hard to hit them in the sky. Scorpions are, uh, interesting. I'm gonna try to make my way toward this other, uh, it looks like a fort of some kind over here. Not sure if this is gonna be locked off or not. Oh, you can go inside this one. This is an abandoned city, I guess. So you're allowed to go here. got more scorpions and the pterodactyls are still following after us. Little Dragon Ball gameplay mechanic there. Chaining together combos. Nice. It's a communal camp that's open to all travelers. Talk about convenient. It is convenient, small devil child. Now, where's this tank for me to run around in? Excuse me. Ow! Oh, yep, I was waiting for that. You get hit by the tail, it's totally poisoned. Right directional button. Okay. At least that was so Oh, there it is. Sort of fun. Here we go. Oh, I see. Okay, so basically you throw capsules down like capsule core stuff. Motorbike, user guide, move around. So, okay, cool. Motorbike. Desert time. Desert. Desert night. Night time. This is a... This is a 15 minute mark. Okay. Motorbike. Alright. Let's drive around on the motorbike, see what happens. Mm-hmm. Motorbike. Whoa! Uh... I can't read that for the life of me. Something about... Uh, modules, something, active effects, L1, R2, some type of menu to changing vehicle parts. Oh, I have a drone with this thing? Okay. Those guys are falling around in a jeep of some kind, it looks like. It's 
So I can attack creatures in my vehicle. Oh, I ended up using my big gun already, so I just have a small gun left. Oops! Leave me alone! It's actually a lot easier just to go out and punch that thing than try to hit it with the... with the bike. I think it's dead. Yeah, that one's toast. Always remain calm, no matter the situation. Clear thinking will lead you to victory, even when the odds are against you. You're talking to the Fiend Prince. I'm like, the definition of calm. Let's see, how far do they actually let you travel? What in the world is that thing? Uh-oh. Whatever that is, that's pretty fast. Ooh. It's like some type of desert cat, it looks like. Oh, my cursor isn't there. Whoa, okay, alright. Hi, kitty. Sorry, nothing against you. Hey, thief. Did the demon village always used to be where it is now? All right, I'm starting to get the hang of this a little bit. Hey, thief. Did the demon village always used to be where it is now? As far as I know, there is no record of us moving. Staying in one spot bye for bye. so long is a sign of good governance. Maybe you humans should try moving less. Probably running out of ammo soon. Hey! Let's not get too wild and crazy there. Thank you. I'm just a young little demon kid. What are those? Uh oh. Trouble, that's what those are. Hey, you don't want to attack me. I'm just a kid on a bike. Okay, maybe you do want to attack me. Oh, somehow you hurt yourself. Oof! Don't let your guard. Ouch. And if I need to abandon my vehicle, how do I do that? Yikes. Okay, so I change weaponry with the circle button. Alright, I jumped out. I don't know why I did that, but it is what it is. Get him! Oof! Yeah, right in front of the things, uh... So far, so good! Ugh, so annoying! It is annoying. I think he sacrificed his friend. Hey, where did they go? Hmm. 
lucky shot, I guess. Alright. There's a weird mech thing. There's the tank. You're a weird one, old man. You ruin all this to find one. Okay, driving the tank. Just doing my best to read this because it's wicked tiny. Okay, so move around, uh, shoot stuff, aim, change weapons, all that good stuff. Okay. I'm not that old. There is the big tank. Only death awaits us if we don't. Machine gun. Uh, I guess. Square does nothing. Ah, there we go. All right. Well, I mean, when I actually need to attack somebody, that'll be... Ah, oh, here we go. Boom! Ha 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 ha! So long. Oh, I missed. I think that got him. Alright, so the tank controls aren't too bad. Not too bad at all. I'm still getting, like, serious Metal Slug vibes from this a little bit. The design's very Metal Sluggish. Make sure to check your gear every now and then. You never know when something you've picked up might come in handy. Got it. I'll give him a look. No, no, what do you guys think? I mean, it's got that Toriyama flair to it, but it also, I feel, a lot of metal slug for com coming from this. Oops. I'll send it flying. Oh no! Well, that's not nice of you. Uh, oh my gosh, that's a panther lord. That's a big guy. My bad. You don't want to attack me, I'm a metal tank. Are some sharp claws. Watch out for rapid strikes. I think it would be best to stay out of its preferred range. No, no, no! I was, oh, I almost beat the Panther Lord. Shoot! Well, now we know you can't retreat that far away. And how am I supposed to get new ammunition? Wipe these guys out. Whoops. Okay, he's done. Goodbye. Get out of here, nomads. Okay. Unfortunately, the Panther Lord, I was too far away, so... I kinda wanted to see what happened if I... 
Yeah, it starts all over again. Oh no. Hi. Yeah, that doesn't help. Woof. You don't really look like a panther, though. You look like, I don't know, some type of lion monster. Woof! So if I beat you, am I the king of the pack then afterwards, or? Oof. Sorry, my bad. Kind of new to this whole. As long as I'm able to still constantly move around, and I don't get too far away and keep circling this guy. I, whoa! Getting up in my grill there! So long, Panther Lord! You are sovereign to no one. I am the pack leader now. Or not. Okay, alright. I guess they don't want me to be the pack leader. Alright. Thanks for playing. Ha! Alright. Always remain calm, no matter the situation. Winning. Clear thinking will lead you to victory, even when the odds are against you. Okay. You're talking to the Fiend Prince. I'm like the definition of calm. Well, that was interesting, I suppose. We took down a uh, boss character. Didn't really get anything for doing that, though. Probably don't want to crash our tank, either. Actually, I'm kind of curious to see what type of animation happens if I crash a tank. You'd think it'd be like a big explosion. Mm -hmm. So, like, why do we need water to live? That's because the human body is composed of roughly 60% water. Interesting. Hey, Fee, what about demons? That depends on the species. Slime's body is nearly 100% water, for instance. Alright, I'm curious. Can I go down there? Oops! Yes, I can go down there. Does anything happen? No. Oh! The thing came back to life. Why is it post-apocalyptic games always have very ambient music? It's like, are they trying to put people to sleep? I've got a question. Why can humans eat some plants, but not others? Our bodies can't digest a lot of them. And then there's others that are downright poisonous to us. <laughs> humans just have weak stomachs. So you demons' stomachs are so strong you can eat just about anything? Impressive. Of course not, silly. I see. Oh, we've come to the end of the world. Can't go past this point. See how it says... I mean, I'm sure in the main game you can explore to your heart's content, but... Um, we're boxed in here, so you can't move past this point. Maybe to give players at ease and give them a false sense of security? I mean, mm, ambient music makes me fall asleep. It doesn't help me stay alert in a game. It pays it... to take the time to stop and observe your surroundings every now and 
makes me fall asleep at the wheel. You just might make some exciting discoveries. And if we can find some loot as a result, even better. When does this come out? I thought the 23rd or 24th of April. Overkill. <laughs> Attacking dinosaurs. Boom! <laughs> There's nothing left of that dino. What am I, your jester? <laughs> Fine, but I'll only tell one. Hit me. Why are cacti so grumpy? They're prickly by nature. You know, maybe driving's not so bad. As far as I know, this game comes out next week. Dinosaurs never learn. That's why we have to use cannon fire on them. Alright, so is my tank overheating? No, I seem to be okay. If a foe's too tough, you can always run away and live to fight another day. <laughs> no such thing as too tough for me. Perhaps not, but I'm telling you just in case that turns out not to be true. Right, all right, fine. Such a nice guy telling the little demon what to do. Okay, so we've reached another invisible wall that we can't get past. Give us the illusion of free roaming, but that's right, the Link. Sorry, I called you Zelda. How are you holding up, Prince? What do you mean? This level of heat's nothing. Sure beats the cold, at least. I, for one, much prefer the heat to the cold as well. Is tolerating heat well just part of being a demon? Depends on the demon. Slime shriveled up, after all. Somebody says, gosh, the desert's hot. It's like, that's the understatement of the century. Ha! Huh. Oh. It's under the sand, Prince. He could surface anywhere. I know, I know. Oh my gosh. Queen Scorpion, let's go. Aye. It's like Monster Hunter with but with tanks. <laughs> it's under the sand. Run! He could surface ah! Powerful hit where? I'm just continually hitting it with cannon fire and hoping for the best at this point. Whoa! I knew you had a poison tail. Come on, Queenie. Long live the Queen. Wait. Where do you go? Our bodies can't digest a lot of them. And then there's others that are downright poisonous to us. <laughs> Humans just have weak stomachs. Hey, I was winning and then you left. Circle combat! <laughs> it's under the sand, Prince. Woohoo! You can surface anywhere. Hit to the ground. No, I don't think so. Oof. I'm attacking a giant scorpion because reasons. Under the sand, Prince. It could surface anywhere. Well, yes. I mean, it can go under the sand and... Hit to the ground.
Oh, it says my tank is overheating. Well, obviously. It could surface anywhere. Maybe you can lure it out with a powerful hit to the ground. Look, you're wearing it out. But stay on your toes. You're wearing it out or I'm getting worn out. I'm a thief, remember? Fair enough. Go do your thing then. I've got a question. Why do humans eat some plants but not others? Our bodies can't digest a lot of them. And then there's others Rex. that are downright poisonous to us. <laughs> Humans just have weak stomachs. So you demon stomachs are so strong you can eat just about anything? Impressive. Of course not, silly. What did I get for beating that? Nothing. I guess the satisfaction of a job well done. Blowing stuff up with a tank. <laughs> Okay. Should we put that time code? Tank or uh, Scorpion Queen? You've been around Sandland a lot, old man. I traveled around to all sorts of places in my youth, but there's still so much to see. This trip should be fun for you then. I wish I could just relax and enjoy it, but not when so many others are suffering. It's the leader of the raptors. More aggressive than ordinary raptors, and they breathe fire. I really cannot recommend fighting it unarmed. Ooh, he actually got a hit in. tracks that's a sign that someone's been here before us following them might lead us to a useful location like a village or town the car should also go a bit faster than it would on unpacked ground hey link link don't go back there back off dinos all right, I got a cat behind me. What are you doing? You're a weird one, old man. Doing all this to find water for other people. Oh! I'm not that noble. Only death awaits us if we don't help each other. Ah, uh, I guess. Yeah, but I'm the one leaving tank marks everywhere. There's no tank marks in this game that I haven't left. I'm doing all the work here. What are you talking about? Welcome back to Extinction! <laughs> no, 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 no. If a foe's too tough, you can always run away and live to fight another day. <laughs> no such thing is too tough for me. What foe is too tough? There's nobody That's here. Not, but I'm telling you just in case that turns out not to be true. All right, we found another part that the game won't let us visit. I, this is interesting. You know, I'd be curious to probably stream this when it comes out. Tanks make things interesting, I suppose. She doesn't know where where the shots came from. It's like, are you serious, Mr. Scorpion? Like, I literally shot you. Nice. Baby Scorpion. A mama Scorpion. It's really easy to switch on the fly to different weapons. Link, what are you doing? 
Link, what are you eating? What did you just do? My gosh. Sorry, sorry. You have to pay attention to cats, like, all the time. Like, they do stupid stuff. As far as I know, there is no record of us moving. Staying in one spot for so long is a sign of good governance. Maybe you humans should try moving less. So much for your scorpion tribe. Oh, that's easy. I feel like I already killed you guys. Boom. What did you think was gonna happen? Explosive rounds, machine gun fire. See these tire tracks? That's a sign that someone's been here. Those before. are our tire tracks! What tire tracks? Might lead us to a useful location like a village or town. What are you talking about? Also go a bit faster than it would on unpacked ground. I'm very curious what you're talking about. Like, the game does realize those are my tire tracks, correct? Nice. One down. I don't even think they're aware of that. I'm the one leaving all these tire tracks. It's me. Alright, we're gonna try a uh, different vehicle. Toriyama made the series as just an excuse to draw tanks. Ha! <laughs> That's kind of cool. I believe it. it. Looks like we're not the only travelers out here. We should think about stopping by that campsite they're using ourselves. It's a communal camp that's open to all travelers. Talk about convenient. Talk about convenient. Do I have weapons? Yes, I do. Not very much weapons, but I have some weapons. Signature Toriyama uh, hovering there. Mech hovering. Always remain calm, no matter the situation. Clear thinking will lead you to victory, even when the odds are against you. You're talking to the fiend prince. I'm like the definition of calm. Trying to be in my little hover bike. What is this? Motorcycles? Oh my god. Got a punch in. Come on, come on. I'm on fire. Uh -oh. It's fire. Oh no. This is bad. I fought. No. Game over. Well, that happened. 
Okay, what did we learn? Not very good at the mech suit. <laughs> That's what we learned. Uh. Tank it is. Here we go. Yes, I know how to drive the tank. Thank you, game. I don't know how to do that, though. How do I use all those optional missile things? That looks cool. I don't know how to do that super move thing. Well, so it goes. Oof. Overkill! <laughs> you just ran it over with the tank. That's kind of funny. Oops. So, you can fight a giant place. scorpion, you can you fight can a T-Rex, um, no, you can no. fight... A wolf of some kind. And you can fight other tanks. You can't visit the towns. You can't really explore a lot in the desert right now. Angry monster. Prince, watch out for the pinter. Ouch. Queenie's kind of hurting Under me. Under the sand, Prince. He could surface anywhere. Maybe you can lure it out. I'm not worried about it. Hit to the ground. Oh. Dead. I have not seen the Sandland anime, no. Tell me something. How do you sorry? Can't help right now. Those enemies? Oh, yeah, those are enemies. Ah. It's the Boom! Raptors. More aggressive than ordinary raptors. And they breathe fire. I really cannot recommend fighting it unarmed. Who's fighting it unarmed? I'm fighting it in a tank. Prince, easy on the boost. Raptor versus tank. Who wins? Probably tank. Boom! That's what you get. Alright, let's see what... Get out of the tank. There we go. And you thought dinosaurs in Dragon Ball Z was weird? Oh. It looks like we're not the only travelers out here. We should think about stopping by that campsite they're using ourselves. It's a communal camp that's open to all travelers. 
Talk about convenience. Talk about repeating dialogue. Ha 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 ha. Communal camp. Well, wasn't this supposed to be a communal camp? I don't see anything here. Yeah. It seems like they took all the stuff away. Going down, Barney the dinosaur. A lot of different creatures, including some dangerous ones I'd like to avoid. Plenty are harmless, though. Just doing their best to survive in this harsh land like us. Humans may be weak, but they sure are persistent. You say that while riding around in a tank and blasting people. Humans are weak. Drives around in a tank, blows people to smithereens. Makes sense. I wish the music was, like, uh, more exciting. Music just kind of drags on. That's a sign that someone's been here before us. Following them might lead us to a useful location like a village or town. What tracks are you seeing, old man? Also go a bit fa faster than I'm literally, I'm going to make right. tracks right now. See, this is me. This is me doing this. I'm in a tank. See? I'm gonna leave tracks behind now. Maybe there's something, like, in the game's actual story, there'll be, like, uh, tank treads that you can follow or something, but... Surprise! Woohoo! Boom, baby! You would not survive that. Yeah, I don't think so. Cowards, run. Make sure to check your gear every now and then. No, I'm good. I don't need to check my gear. You never know when something you've picked up might come in. One sec, guys. Be right back. Got it. I'll give him a look. Give him a look. Look, see. always used to be where it is now as far as I know there is no record of us moving staying in one spot for so long is a sign of good governance maybe you humans should try moving less Uh, it took a long time for the air conditioner to start working. Hi, everyone. Hello. How's it going? Thanks so much. So we can't go in towns. We can only fight tank stuff. I mean, the game is fun. It's just like, I'd be curious to see how the story is. My question is, those of you that have actually played or seen the show, do you think that this game is going to follow the events of the anime or is it its own original story we might come across other travelers abandoned belongings or usable equipment <laughs> spoken like a true thief
weird one, old man. Doing all this to find water for other people. I'm not that noble. Only death awaits us if we don't help each other. Ah, uh, I guess. Yeah, Toriyama gave you a new game and an anime. All in the same year. Now, people have been telling me that the anime either is on Hulu or it's coming to Hulu. Prince, it's good to wander off the beaten path sometimes. <laughs> Tank beats Raptor. Wow, surprising. Tank beats Raptor. News at 11. traveling merchants on the main roads. They roam over sandland, peddling their wares to all comers. Can't go in there. Hello, travelers, huh? If we find any, let's stop and compare notes with them. There's a place to drink water because it's important to drink water in the desert. Well, so it goes. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. <laughs> Whoopsies. Boom. You think you're so agile, huh? Well, he didn't get to run away, now did he? Nope. Alright, so we're gonna make our way toward, uh... We've been here. That's the big boy again. Oh, wait, no, it's not. This is a regular guy. So at the very beginning of my stream, I ran into an army of tanks, and I've never been able to find them again. Unless these are it. No. These are not it. Shrapnel beats. So what did you think of that? I'm not that noble. Only death awaits us if we don't help each other. I'd like to find the tank to battle again. I guess. There's a big tank out here. Now last time I attacked it with my fists. This time I have my tank. It would be nice to be able to find it.
Well, there's the smaller tanks. Still not the big one. Boom! Take that, Mad Max wannabes. Hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely getting the hang of the tank. Your jester? <laughs> Fine, but I'll only tell one. Hit me. Why are cacti so grumpy? They're prickly by nature. You know, maybe driving's not so bad. Dinosaurs TV show. It pays to take the time to stop and observe your surroundings every now and then. You just might make some exciting discoveries. And if we can find some loot as a result, even better. Huh. No, I thought I blew that up to some of the rooms. Oof! Man, that shell really pushed that uh, thing back. When you run into enemies in the desert, taking a head count is a good first step. Can't we just pick them off one by one? If there are only a few, sure. But with large groups, you risk getting surrounded. Sounds more complicated than I thought. There are a few tanks. There's a really big tank. There's two small tanks, and then you have some other tanks. Can't go here. This big area is a city, though. I've heard rumors of creatures of tremendous power in this land. You never know when you might run across one of them. Oh yeah, I think I heard Father say that before. That's you demons, isn't it? Well, I suppose there's always someone stronger. Well, no matter how tough they are, there's no You have a couple options, options with your demon. tank though. You can run over stuff. You don't actually have to, um, use your gun if you don't want to. You can just run over stuff with your tank. Hit and run! I just felt like blowing them up anyway. Whoopsies. Not enough enemies to tackle with your tank. Sandland sure has a lot of different creatures. Including some dangerous ones I'd like to avoid. Plenty are harmless, though. Just doing their best to survive in this harsh land like us. Humans may be weak, but they sure are persistent. Alright, so how are we doing in terms of stuff? Okay, so update. Apollo Justice, episode 62, is at 900 views. Um... Lego DC Supervillains Episode 5 
is at 865. So, so far, Ace is close to getting another stream. Ace needs uh, 90 more views to get another stream. And uh, LEGO DC Supervillains needs 130. Only death awaits us if we don't help each other. Uh, I guess. Bye bye. Tank combat is fun. Really is. <laughs> what did they think was going to happen coming after me in this machine? Hmm? You chose poorly. You chose very poorly. Da, 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 da. Ah, a mech thingy. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. We haven't fought one of these guys yet. Oh, never mind. He's weak. Excuse you. How can you survive a point-blank shot of... You know what? It's fine. So we found... There are wandering uh, mech suits out in the desert. One sec, guys. Am I your jester? <laughs> Fine, but I'll only tell one. Hit me. Why are cacti so grumpy? They're prickly by nature. You know, maybe driving's not so bad. later. Now, which direction was I moving in order to find that mech suit, though? And where's the big boss when tank? You run into enemies in the desert. Taking a head count is a good first step. Can't we just pick them off one by one? If there are only a few, sure. But with large groups, you risk getting surrounded. Ha. That was more complicated than I thought. Bull we'll by now. Well, Wish cheese, anyone? Come on, big tank, wherever you are. dealing with basically just little nobodies at the moment. Ah! It looks like we're not the only travelers out here. We should think about stopping by that campsite they're using ourselves. It's a communal camp that's open to all travelers. Talk about convenient. Very convenient. You saw this game in a trailer and wanted to see what it was like? 
Well, you have a couple options. You can drive around in a motorcycle, a mech suit, or a tank. The tank is the most fun. If you really want a challenge, you can get out of the tank and try attacking with uh, your little character. You're a weird one, old man. I've been able to defeat just about every enemy except for the giant monsters without a tank. I'm not that noble. Only death awaits us if we don't help each other. Huh. I guess. So basically, baked Lay's potato chips are more or less Pringles without the cool Pringle shape. the bikes. Prince, it's no, that's a different enemy over there. Have sometimes. I don't fought them yet. Detours can be the source of all sorts of discoveries. True. We might come across other travelers Here's some cheddar for that cheesy joke. Thank you. Equipment. <laughs> Thanks so much. Looking like a true thief. Oh wow, that guitar came in right after the pun. Nice. Alright, so I guess I'll summon the tank again. Whoa, that's a long way down. That's death. Is there fall damage for your little guy? Find out. Fall damage! Nope. I'm a demon, no fall damage. When fighting in cramped areas like cliffs, beware of blind spots. Getting caught off guard puts you at a disadvantage. I definitely hate to move like that. I'll be careful. <laughs> Yam chose the final boss of this game? That would be amazing. Observing them carefully. Knowing what they can do and what their weaknesses are will help you fight effectively. Wow, that thing's surprisingly fast. Oof! How are you not done yet? Wait, that's the boss? That thing right there is the boss. Okay then. Winning. What do you think was going to happen? Hmm. We 
in there. That's the boss. One of the bosses for the bandits. Ooh. Easy now, easy. When you run into enemies in the desert, taking a head count is a good first step. Can't we just pick them off one by one? If there are only a few, sure. But with large groups, you risk getting surrounded. Ha. Sounds more complicated than I thought. Who's tracking me? So, like, why do we need water to live? That's because the human body is composed of roughly 60% water. Interesting. Hey, AC, what about demons? Booyah. Because the human body is composed of roughly 60% water. Interesting. Hey, AC, what about demons? That depends on the species. Slime's body is nearly 100% water, for instance. This game's kind of fun. I wish they uh, could show us some more um, enemy types, though. It repeats the same type of enemies. These guys run away like crazy people like no don't hurt me make sure to check your gear every now and then you never know when something you've picked up might come in handy got it I'll give him a look I'd be curious to see about the story and if um Toriyama and company will let you explore as much as you want in this version, there's restrictions, so you can't explore too far. Oh. Ow, ow, ow. So 
going. Nice. Oh. I got you with just punching you, fool. prefer the heat to the cold as well. Is tolerating heat, well, just part of being a demon? Depends on the demon. Slime shriveled up, after all. So there's no towns you can interact with. No, um... And the big human boss is actually, like, a, a jeep with a, um... A mortar on the back of it. Tell me something. How do humans make a living? Crafts, agriculture, hunting, trade. It's pretty varied. And some bad eggs resort to thievery, of course. We steal from humans sometimes too. Mobilize! Boink. Hmm, <laughs> they all just run away. That's nothing to be proud of. Unless you're stealing from the army, that is. That's nothing to be proud of, he said. All right, guys, let's do some nighttime stuff. Keep our distance from the army base unless necessary. I bet they've got loads of loot in there. Can't argue with that, but somehow I doubt they'd take kindly to intruders. If we can't talk you out of it. Rest until nightfall. What other vehicles do you have? Um, I don't really like the motorcycle very much. And I'm not a big fan of the mobile armor. So, I've just been using the tank. If a foe's too tough, can always run away and live to fight another day. <laughs> no such thing is too tough for me. Perhaps not, but I'm telling you just in case that turns out not to be true. All right, all right, fine. That human is really uh telling that demon guy what to do. Cat armor. Alright guys, we're about uh, 15 minutes away from uh, the YouTube short. Prince, would you please let me have the next turn at the wheel? Rock, paper, scissors me for it. You're on. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors. Yay! I win! Ah, I'll get you next time. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you. 
interesting creatures. They sound like bears. Alright, let's see how easy it is to take care of these guys with the, um, the tank. There we go. Yeah, pterodactyl is a lot easier to take down than tank. Boink. Boom. One down? I think there's more than just one down. King of the deserts. I don't know about that. Because the human body is composed of roughly 60% water. Oh my gosh, you guys are repeating the same dialogue Maybe. thing you talked about, about 15, you? 20 minutes ago. That depends on this. Wait, this is different desert. Slime's body is nearly 100% water, for instance. Maybe something interesting is going to happen. Just a dead end. Hmm, he's really opening for something else. Oh, did I find the big tank again? I've got a question. Why can humans eat some plants but not others? Our bodies can't digest a lot of Oops. Them. And then there's others that are downright poisonous to us. <laughs> Humans just have weak stomachs. So you deem oh, never mind. So strong you can eat just about anything? Impressive. Of course not, silly. I see. I was hoping there'd be a big tank enemy, but it's just ruins. Oh, there it is. That's where I... Okay. That's the tank boss. Took a while to find it. Ah! What? what now, fools?
Alright, let's park our tank. Oh, are these ruins? Looks that way. But we've got a far more pressing issue. With the bridge collapsed, we aren't going to be able to reach the entrance on foot. There must be something we can use to cross. Let's start searching for a way across then. Yata, yep, boss defeated, kind of sort of. Well, there you go. If you guys are looking for the um, human tank boss or whatever, it's located here at these uh, weird ancient ruins. I'm so sick of driving through this boring desert. Thief. Know any jokes? What am I, your jester? <laughs> Fine, but I'll only tell one. Hit me. Why are cacti so grumpy? They're prickly by nature. You know. Maybe driving's not so bad. I like you. Water to live. That's because the human body is composed of roughly 60% water. Interesting. Hey, Thief, what about demons? That depends on the species. Slime's body is nearly 100% water, for instance. Ruins found. Okay. What about the motorcycle? You're a weird one, old man. And all this to find water for other people. I'm not that old. Can you jump with the bike? Only death awaits us if we don't help each other. Oof. Uh, I guess. Guess not. Nope, no jumping with the bike. Bummer. No. When you run into enemies in the desert, taking a head count is a good first step. Can't we just pick them off one by one? If there are only a few, sure. But with large groups, you risk getting surrounded. Ha. Sounds more complicated than I thought. Whoops. Remote house found. Gotta say, odd place for a house. Yeah, why not live in a town? They must have their reasons, I suppose. Humans can be fussy over the weirdest things. Hmm. No campsite here? Interesting. We should 
keep our distance from the army base unless necessary. I bet they've got loads of loot in there. Can't argue with that, but somehow I doubt they'd take kindly to intruders. If we can't talk you out of it, please at least try to be sneaky about it. Water. Here we go. Hey, thief. Did the demon village always used to be where it is now? As far as I know, there is no record of us moving. Staying in one spot for so long is a sign of good governance. Maybe you humans should try moving less. Whoa, pterodactyl boss, yo. You guys seeing that? Wow, look at how big that guy is. Of course he shoots fire, why wouldn't he? always used to be where it is now as far as i know away. there is no record of us moving staying in one spot for so long is a sign of good governance maybe you humans should try moving less Looks like they're not following me. Nope. Oh, wow. We have another boss. Boom. I don't even know how I made it to this place, actually. Gotcha. Nice. One down. Hmm. 
Can you raid their base for supplies? Maybe in the full game. <clears throat> okay, there we go. I'm curious. Who's the second strongest demon in your village? <laughs> Me? Duh! As things stand now, yes, that's probably true. Somehow, I don't like the way you phrase that. We can use this to find out about the area. If we can get it fixed up, that is. Okay, now for some hot intel on the area. Okay, that's funny. Another video game, guys, with activating towers. It's a trope that when seems will never die. Areas like cliffs, beware of blind spots. Getting caught off guard puts you at a disadvantage. I definitely hate to lose like that. I'll be careful. All right, guys, it's 11.30. Time to push the YouTube short. Tonight's YouTube short is called You'll Be Sorry. Prince, it's good to wander off the beaten path sometimes. You'll Be Sorry is tonight's YouTube short. What did you think was going to happen? It's good to wander off the beaten path sometimes. Detours can be the source of all sorts of discoveries. True. We might come across other travelers' abandoned belongings or usable equipment. <laughs> Spoken like a true thief. Aha. Uh -huh. Now I raid you. Using items. Yeah, mods, you have the ability to erase stuff in, uh... You can, you can erase stuff on, uh comments on the shorts you have the ability to do that you're a weird one I believe you do to ruin all this to find water for other people I'm not that noble only death awaits us if we don't help each other uh, I guess
of driving through this boring desert. Thief. Know any jokes? What am I, your jester? <laughs> Fine, but I'll only tell one. Hit me. Why are cacti so grumpy? They're prickly by nature. You know, maybe driving's not so bad. Yep, thank you guys for watching the short. Remember, YouTube shorts are um, not tied to your IP address. You can watch them as many times as you click the link that's located in the chat. Let's try to get 100 views in the next uh, 30 minutes. Humans just have weak stomachs. So you demon stomachs are so strong you can eat just about anything? Impressive. Of course not, silly. I would like to take down that giant pterodactyl, but I don't know how it's going to work. Ah. Uh. Ah ha. Wow, that thing's fast. Got him. Oh no! So I need to make sure that I'm near the dude's nest. again. That's one of the most creative boss fights yet, is that giant uh, pterodactyl thing. Second there, I thought I actually ran out, ran ran out of tank shells, but I did not. Hot, hot, hot. Uh -oh, it's catching fire. I'm on fire. Well, boys. What happens now? All right, pterodactyl thing is toast. Another one of those guys? Wow. Oh, he's called a general, is he?
Boom, baby. So long, General. Can I shoot their water? Wait, did that do damage to it? Uh... Yeah! Seriously, guy? Wow. When you run into enemies in the desert, taking a head count is a good first step. Can't we just pick them off one by one? If there are only a few, sure. But with large groups, you risk getting surrounded. Ha. Sounds more complicated than I thought. I hope they have different environments in this. Like, everything just seems to be, um, everything's a desert. But, like, they could have desert with shade, or they could have some other stuff. It's always just the desert. Oh! Ow! It's under the sand, Fritz. It could surface anywhere. Maybe you can clear it out with a powerful hit to the ground. Uh oh! They're not looking good. Holy crap, I won. Tell me something. How do humans make a living? Crafts, agriculture, hunting, trade. It's pretty varied. And some bad eggs resort to thievery, of course. We steal from humans sometimes, too. That's nothing to be proud of. Unless you're stealing from the army, that is. Wait, isn't this supposed to have like a, a place to camp at? Apparently not. Yeah, it is. It's right here. Still can't come to terms with just how vast the outside world is. Don't want to think about how hard it would be to get around. I got an owie? Is that what you guys wrote? I mean, I think I've explored everything that you can in this. Like, uh, is there anything else you guys would like to see me do? Tell me something. How do humans make a living? Crafts, agriculture, hunting, trade. It's pretty varied. And some bad eggs resort to thievery, of course. We steal from humans sometimes, too. That's nothing to be proud of. Unless you're stealing from the army, that is. Also, good job on watching the short, guys. You, uh, after 14 minutes, you're at 160 views. So, uh, doing great.
Helping out a lot, actually. We'll probably find traveling merchants on the main roads. They roam over Sandland, peddling their wares to all comers. Fellow travelers, huh? If we find any, let's stop and compare notes with them. How far can I get on foot? I'm just curious. I don't even know what that radar tower did. Hey, thief. Did the demon village always used to be where it is now? As far as I know, there is no record of us moving. Staying in one spot for so long is a sign of good governance. Maybe you humans should try moving less. Oh, the Scorpion Queen doesn't want to bother with me, so that's good. <laughs> We're counting on you, Prince. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to fight because uh tank. I've found that uh, being in your um, exploring area or whatever, when you're in this mode, it's not... Really good to fight the tanks. I've traveled around to all sorts of places in my youth, but there's still so much to see. This trip should be fun for you then. Wish I could just relax and enjoy it, but not when so many others are suffering. She's good. Goodbye. Apollo Justice is gone. Where is Maya? You're a weird one, old man. Ruin all this to find water for other people. Ha! Ah. I'm not that satisfying. Only death awaits us if we don't help each other. Uh, I guess. Mystic Maya. village always used to be where it is now as far as I know there is no record of us moving staying in one spot for so long is a sign of good governance maybe you humans should try moving less Phoenix, what are you doing there? He's pointing. And then we're going to put Maya in the background. I've heard rumors of creatures of tremendous power in this land. You never know when you might run across one of them. Oh, yeah. I think I heard Father say that before. 
That's you demons, isn't it? Well, I suppose there's always someone stronger. Well, no matter how tough they are, there's no way they can be stronger than the King of Demons. Alright, there we go. So, um, so far guys, it looks like Ace Attorney is happening tomorrow. Very close to it. But I'm just gonna set it up anyway. Um, due to uh, exhaustion from taxes, um, I will not be doing a 1 a.m. stream tonight. If enemies take you by so, surprise, just stay calm and try to. Tomorrow get I'll be back to my normal schedule of uh, doing then, late, late, late away. night streams or whatever. Like running in a blind panic gives them more chances to hit you in the back. Assess the situation calmly instead. Ugh. I prefer running toward the enemy. Yeah, we're gonna get Ace set up. I don't even know what the other one is called. Special case. I'm curious. Who's the second strongest demon in your village? Uh, me? Duh! As things stand now, yes, that's probably true. Somehow, I don't like the way you phrase that. At uh, four fifteen p.m. I've heard rumors of creatures of tremendous power in this land. You never know when you might run across one of them. Oh yeah, I think I heard Father say that before. That's you, demons, isn't it? Well, I suppose there's always someone stronger. Well, no matter how tough they are, there's no way they can be stronger than the King of Demons. What are you asking, O.H.? Yes, um... Let me see, where where are you guys with um one sec please. What goes through your head in the middle of a fight? How I'm gonna beat the other guy to a pulp. That's a start, but you might get better results by predicting what your enemy is going to do and reacting accordingly. You'll find it hard to lose if you're always fighting on favorable terms. According to my info. Um, Ace Attorney episode 62 is at 960 views, so the chances of you guys getting it a thousand views by the morning is substantially high. Like, I mean, it's, it's almost there. Um, now Lego DC Supervillains needs some help. Lego DC Please Supervillains is at 890. Observe your surroundings every now. So it's not even at. You just might make wait, some exciting nine? discoveries. Yes, Lego and DC Super Villains Part Five is result, at eight ninety, better. so it's almost. It's almost at nine hundred. So it's going to need a, a little bit of a push. In fact, I'm going to have that. Uh, try to give it as much of a push overnight as I can. <clears throat> so a little update on the YouTube short for you guys. YouTube short what is currently at um, of a fight. 240 views already. I'm gonna beat the other guy to a pulp. That's pretty good. That's a start, but you might get better results by predicting what your enemy is going to do and reacting accordingly. You'll find it hard to lose. If you're always fighting on favorable terms.
Yeah, the tank controls are satisfying. It's so fun. Whoops. Whoops. Boom. Boom. It doesn't appear to be any level up system, so I'm guessing, like, whenever you reach a certain amount of, like, taking down enemies or something like that, maybe you get, like, additional parts you can get to make your tank stronger or something, I don't know. Because I've, I've defeated a bunch of enemies tonight, there's been no leveling up at all. I'm just saying. We do stuff like dig pitfalls where people like to walk. Oh, and Thief even stole someone's comic the other day. <laughs> Some of my finest work, if I do say so myself. See? You're evil, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> hmm. Here we go. Whoop! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is this where the giant pterodactyl is again? Here we go. No, these are small people. Oof! Maybe the demo has no level up system. That could be too, yeah. That could be very possible. Crocodile! Ooh! I'm fighting crocodiles now. Alright, little change of scenery here, that's nice. Uh-oh. Probably don't want to be standing in here. That's a huge crocodile. It looks tougher than most crocs I've seen. It's not a good idea to try to fight that thing barehanded. Oh wow, you can switch on the fly. Ba boom. Well, I think we got it. Pretty sure. It pays to take the time to stop and observe your surroundings every now and then. It just might make some exciting discoveries. 
And if we can find some loot as a result, even better. Now, did I already do this one? Yeah, I did this one. Okay. So. Oh my gosh, no. Wait, go away. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. Uh. Well, we made it to some place. Uh, I, I've scoured pretty much this entire area. I had a blast. Pun intended. Uh, let's see, how did you guys do on the YouTube short? YouTube short, YouTube short, YouTube short. Alright, nice job guys. After 30 minutes you got up to 315 views of the YouTube short. Thank you very much. There is no record of us moving. So this shows you, this is all the stuff you have available that you can do. So I've seen pretty much everything. And they have a massive uh, map here that you can see, um, that you can explore and do all kinds of stuff when the game comes out. But it looks like there's a skill tree. Skill tree for the old man, too. You can customize your tank. Mobile armor. That's cool. I don't even know why saving... Yeah, you can't save. I didn't think so. You can't save. Well, there you go, guys. That's it. That's all. Um, thank you for watching. Ace Attorney is happening tomorrow, most likely. Um, if you guys want more LEGO DC Super Villains live, then um, you need to get 100 views by tomorrow morning, which I think is doable. And uh, I'm trying to think what else. Ace Attorney continues. If you guys want... Uh, a series of this, let me know. Probably doing it, would be doing it late night or something like that. It's it's an interesting game. The controls are great. Uh, the music is a little boring. I don't like, I, I think the game would have um, benefited from like more action oriented or exploration music. Like the um, ambient sounds and music doesn't really fit this type of game. I mean, it's a Toriyama game. Toriyama, um, his animes always has, like, very expressive and exciting music, and this, this game's music is just kind of bland. That's the only thing I don't like about it. I like the controls. I like switching to the different mechs. Uh, the character banter is fine. Um, I understand that, you know, sand is going to be a thing that you're going to see constantly, so, I mean, I'm not really going to complain about the aesthetic, because, I mean, the whole concept about the game is post-apocalyptic sand land, you know, type exploration and stuff like that. Um, it'd be nice if there's a little bit of color, like, you know, some green every once in a while or some forest stuff, but uh, that's not really going to happen because, uh, well, you can kind of see the state of the world in this, so. But, um, yeah, I, I like it. I think the game is interesting. Um, the tank controls are fun. Um, I didn't really get to mess around with the skill tree or anything else, but I'll probably be looking at this game next week. Music needed a little something something. But yeah, thank you guys for watching the YouTube short. If you guys could continue to watch the YouTube short tonight, that'd be fantastic. And uh, I'll be back to my normal late night streams uh, starting tomorrow. I'm still recovering from uh, 
stress and my migraine and also all the tax stuff I had to do early in the morning. I was finalizing my tax stuff from like 6 in the morning until about 10.30 in the morning. Or 10 in the morning, I think. 9.30. I don't remember. Amber streamed uh, at 10 in the morning, I think. She streamed Pokemon. Yeah, she had to do it around 10. So um, I was done with the tax stuff by like 9.15, 9.25. But thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, look forward to our Sandland coverage sometime uh, next week, I think. All right, guys. God bless. Happy gaming. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great night, and keep watching the YouTube short. Thank you, everybody.